Hey, what's up guys? Too Tall Toby here, and welcome to another power move. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can save time by learning how you can actually jump into the extend command from right within the trim entities command. Ow. So here we can see we're in SolidWorks sketch mode. We've got this real nice fully defined sketch. You gotta remember to fully define every time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now get ready to split this sketch into different regions. Like I wanna you know, create this model in different sections. There's gonna be different stepped areas of the model. So I'm gonna create some extra sketch geometry over here that I wanna work with in order to split this thing up. So now let's take a look at the sketch command trim entities. Now we can access this from the top toolbar or what I usually do is just access it from the S key. And the way trim entities works is when you click on your left mouse button and you hold it down, you'll get this little kind of jagged line near your mouse. And what that jagged line lets you do is it lets you come through here and trim some of these entities. Whoops. Uh, looks like I went a little too far with that trim. So I'm just going to backtrack here. I'm still holding that button down. I'm going to backtrack here. There we go. And I'm going to continue trimming through these entities. So that's how Power Trim works. It's a really handy tool that you can use when you're working in SolidWorks. But here's a little bonus that a lot of people don't know about with Power Trim. You can click and drag an existing entity with Power Trim, and you can actually drag this out into space in order to extend that entity. So I'm still in the trim command. You can see I can just click and drag to click through these in order to trim them, but I can also click and drag to extend them out. And as a little bit of bonus functionality, what we'll see is we can take an entity here and click and drag it to another entity and it will extend it to that entity and it actually creates the coincident relationship here. So you'll see that as this line moves up and down or if I was to do that again, maybe trim this entity here and we'll do with this one as well. You can see that that makes it really easy to align multiple entities to one single uh, location. Now, another thing that we can do with that uh, trim and extend is we can ex trim extend this to a virtual intersection. And what I mean by that is when I begin this click and drag, I'm out here in space, right? If I just let it go, then it just extends it some arbitrary amount. You can also decrease that length if you want. I don't really think that's that big a deal because you could just do the same thing by grabbing this point, right? And dragging this point around. But what we can also do with this extend functionality is we can extend this to a virtual intersection. And this workflow is a little bit weird, takes a little practice, but basically what you can do is you can click and drag and then hold, I'm still dragging here, you'll notice my mouse cam. I'm gonna hold my mouse over this entity here. I'm gonna let go. And now you'll notice it, it behaves kind of weird, like I'm just moving the mouse around here over that line. And then I'll click that line again and now it has created a coincident relationship here between the end point of this line and this line over here. So it's actually created a virtual intersection between those two entities. And I think that's pretty cool uh, that you can, you can trim to an existing entity, but you could also maybe trim to a virtual intersection and you can end up getting this relationship, this coincident relationship is here so that all these lines are going to move together and they're also going to move with this line here. One of the most common places that I use this is if I need to create an extrusion with a stepped region. So if I've got a uh, set of geometry like what we see here, I pick this face, begin a sketch, do a convert entities. Now I'm gonna create another line out here in space, or maybe I'll offset this line, you know, however you wanna do it. Now I'll begin the trim command and I can just trim these entities by extending them right up to this line. And then I can finish off by going through and trimming that up. And that makes it really quick and easy for me to get in here and create that kind of stepped region of my geometry. So I hope that you guys can find some good places to use that. I hope that I've inspired you to use the uh, trim and the extend command together. If I did, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with somebody else. If you want to support the channel, feel free to send me a couple of bucks using the YouTube super thanks functionality. And of course, be sure to check out this video as well, where you can learn more about the wonderful world of sketching. And I will see everybody in the next video.